Easy now. I don't want you crushing your sunflowers in a hurry to say hello. Ah. Hey, Minxie. Yeah, just got back into town from that last heist. Cop got run off the road this time. <laughs> got out of his car, stomping, hooting and hollering. I'll get you, damned loaned wolf, he said. <laughs> sure he will. How's little Miss Minx been, anyway? I hate to interrupt your wild hair story, sweetheart, but you're shifting your weight from foot to foot. You've got a limp. Hmm, still running around barefoot while working the farm, huh? Hmm, <sighs> sure, you don't know better. The hat of honesty is on you now. You know what that means, right? Hmm. You have to be honest so long as you wear the hat. Now, how come the old man hasn't got new shoes like I asked him to? So he decided to punish you for some nonsense that wasn't even your fault by making you do all the work barefoot. Did Tom at least stand up for you this time? I'm going to go have a word with him. I do not look mad, and you know it. I never look anything. I just want to talk to him real quick is all. And given I'm one of his best associates in the family, I'd like to think he can spare a minute or two to discuss his sweet little minx. Did Tom say I was filling your head with nonsense when it came to standing up to your old man? Interesting. Here, have some head pads. You wait out here with your sunflowers, all right? I won't take long. It's absurd, Dan, that your daughter's out there running around and doing all the chores barefoot. You have the money to hire help, and you know it. <laughs> Don't you start, Harry. You ain't getting my blessing, no matter how you protest. Minxie will empty that head out and marry into a good family. Good money will get rolling back into these lands and the family business, and you can go back to keep in your nose out of her business. At least buy the woman some damned shoes. She's out there with bleeding souls. Ah, well, ain't gonna be running far like that, is she? Huh. What are you gonna do? Shoot me, boy. You know I will. Do it. Ah! My damn knee! Ain't gonna run far like that, are you, old man? Ah, 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 Minxie, don't go to that man's side. He doesn't care for you, father or not. Ah, you stupid bitch. Turning my best damn men against me now. I was some damn shoes, even. Don't listen to that hateful old reptile. Don't you listen to your spineless older brother either, you hear? You work yourself to the bone to try and keep this miserable old turd afloat while he counts his money and kills his damned liver in the shine. And he can't even be bothered to buy you shoes. Hell no. You go and pack your things, my sweet girl, and we'll buy you some nice shoes on the way back to my place, you hear? You're not a burden. Duck real quick for me, though. Fuck! Right through my goddamn hand. Shouldn't have tried to take a cheap shot, you son of a bitch. No offence to your Mima, Minxie. <laughs> this ain't how you thought a gent asking for your hand would go. Ah, well... When the family is 99% criminals, they're going to attract more criminals. 
reckon one of them is going to fall in love with the prettiest member at some point, you know? <laughs> Who is it, she says, all excited. Go get your things, sweetheart. If Tom tries to stop you, you tell me, all right? Go on, it'll be okay. All set? Good. Come on, let's get you to a proper home where you can actually walk around without being in pain. You'll come crawling back. She won't, because you'll have some fucking shoes to walk in, you bloated idiot. See you at the next family get-together, Dan. Hope you're less of a damned fool in four months, bless your heart. <laughs> Honey... I think, bless your heart, might have been a bit nicer than shooting him twice. Come on now, you're going to be all right. <laughs> Fuck! Got our possums in the road. Pick a better spot to die in, you cutie menaces. <laughs> <laughs> 